there has been much confusion about the identity of one who would tip his hat and be called the, the Elijah of this age. It is one who would be a destroying storm, line by line, precept by precept, the strong and mighty one, Elijah, Isaiah 28. Strong because of the uh, ability to change this earth by love's interpretation that goes before me. And praise God, so shall it be that the great restoration will come forth exactly as it has for, been foretold. It does not, faith does not make things easy. It makes it possible, and possible shall be. And praise God that the Lord's love is burning as a refiner's fire, and it is time to believe more than ever. And it is foretold that the end time Elijah would come forth and restore all things, Matthew 17, 11. But people, the Elijah foretold is the writer Elijah. See, there are two different Elijahs. Revelation uh, 11 uh, pictures the last Elijah, the first Elijah, who was with Moses, the originals, they would come back as two witnesses. I am not of that crowd. The writer Elijah line by line, precept by precept, is Isaiah 28. It's Zechariah 3, 4, and 5, the writer of the flying squirrel, the alcoholic uh, Joshua, the alcoholic uh, Shiloh, Genesis 49, 12, one whose eyes are red and dull of wine, and the alcoholic of Habakkuk 2 that brings the vision of God. Um, the vision is written plainly on the tablet, so all those who read it that from the writer or hear of the words from this writer would run because the kingdom age is upon us. So I am he concerning whom Moses prophesied in Deuteronomy 18, 18, and the death is physical death. Uh, prophecy was not told to tell the future, but to change the future. And it is written in uh, Jonah 3 that God relented, changed his mind, even after he said Nineveh will be destroyed. They were not. And for that reason, there is only one place in the word of God that says this, and I hope you believe this, because it is written. It says, this shall be considered in the latter days, Jeremiah 30, 24. Two things. One, the Lord is saying, I will return my terrifying anger and stop the fast rising great tribulation if my people will give me the desire of my heart that he prayed for so passionately in Gethsemane. And second to that, uh, the very next sentence is that in the latter days, the Lord God, he would arise to be the Lord God of all Israel and all families of Israel. And from the least to the greatest of them, he promises, I will be your God, you will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity. I will never remember it. I will write my law and my love upon your hearts. Beyond that, no one else will ever need to be taught of me anymore, saith our beloved. He is the blessed, the beloved, and the adored, and he has his way. Uh, the ocean of his adoration is now pouring out. We have a choice. We can uh, swim in that flood, or we can have another flood. It'll be like days as a Noah, destruction and death. And so, praise God, it does not have to be. Uh, it is written that in Isaiah 61 that money from all over this world, after the sun of love arises to destroy the gross darkness in the kingdom age, that um, money from all over this world, the Latra, until the highest heavens, Organizations like Alatra, look it up, A-L-L-A-T-R-A. -L -L -A -A. It's just a movement of goodness uh, and mercy and love that's spreading all over this earth. So uh, if you don't like that charity, hey, there's lots of charities and they all need help. But it is time to believe the gospel truth. And um, so the Lord says, this is what is written. A prophet shall the Lord God raise up unto you, like, like, uh, like me. I am a Kingdom Age covenant giver. I've given it in 5,000 videos. I will be your God. You will be my people. 
when that comes, Paul said all faith on earth would be obsolete. Muhammad said the same thing. Muhammad said uh, the day is coming in the Hadith. There is no more left of the Quran except its outward form. And my people will belong to another that sounds like Islam. For Islam, Isaiah 62, 2, their new name. Now that uh, Israel has inherited all mankind, Isaiah 54, 3, which means uh, they've inherited all the loving, born-again Christians whose, whose hearts are like a little child walking in love. Because when you're walking with love, there's never any condemnation over any of us. And God has promised, just as we will judge the hosts before us, uh, and he will not judge them, he has promised that he will not judge us. If he judge one of us who had our light of love, his love living in us, if he judged us and sent us to hell, his whole word would be a liar, and that would make him a liar. He's never been a respecter of men having any favoritism. He's always loved everyone equally the same. And for that reason, uh, the shattering of the power of the holy people will come after a time, times, and a half a time. Two and a half more years I've got to preach this message, and then religion will start crumbling. It's already crumbling over the power of um, the, the trial of all flesh, Revelation 3, that's come bringing God's word of patience to keep us from the hour of the temptation not to change by his love which is forgiveness. Forgiveness is love, and love is forgiveness. They are one and the same. And so praise God that in these days we may fully realize that the, the gross darkness that's covered this earth is the fact that all people want nothing but divine love from God uh, and divine forgiveness, and yet very few people want to have divine unconditional love. So it was hidden all through the ages but now the veil has been pulled, and the message has been given, and that clears up immediately all distortionalities. So praise God that the spirit of truth shall lead us into all that is true. And the most regal eagle of the eons is now soaring higher than ever before with the fluttering whitest wings of the dove of love flying right next to him. And it is time to believe that God will set all things right. And as he declared from the beginning, this, this vision of God has been for the appointed time of the end. Read the Hebrew Bible or King James. Mankind did not even have enough faith in the true vision that it was expunged and changed just into a proverb. But if you go back to the roots, to the Jewish Bible, King James got it right too. The just shall live by my faith, because I am already as greedy as hell, and I shall never be satisfied as I embrace absolutely all people unto myself for our risen good shepherd over all the flocks of man. There is not now, nor has there ever been anyone uh, like me that's worth and talking about. The only good thing about me is I'm sold out to our beloved who is Isa Yeshua, Jesus, the risen good shepherd over all people. And if you believe that one, it is absolutely true because people, there have never been another God. So there are no false gods in this world in spite of what people want to argue about. All religion has been is desolate heritage, as Isaiah 49, 8 clearly foretold this because we couldn't see the forest of love for all the trees in the in the way not good <laughs>